I went into labour at six months, um, so I didn't even have a third trimester. I didn't know much about um, survival rates or anything like that, so I was Googling um, survival rates for 26 weekers and you know not knowing really what would happen or how things would go. I was just 25 weeks gestation and I couldn't quite believe that it was labour. I knew what labour was and how it felt and I was like this is too early, it just can't be right, can't be real. We saw some babies who didn't make it with neck as well. It was it was a very frightening thing. Breast milk is one of the things that really, if you're able to receive breast milk, either donor breast milk or your mother's breast milk, then it really, really cuts down on the risk of neck. When babies are in hospital, it's especially important that they're fed with breast milk, and particularly those very uh, preterm babies because they're born with an immature digestive system and a very immature immune system also. When you have a premature child, your body is not meant to produce milk yet. Plus, you don't have your child with you. Premature babies especially need donor milk for those times when their own mums aren't able to provide any or enough of their own milk. Mums are always anxious when the babies are in hospital, but when your baby's very tiny or very sick, you know, you, your stress levels go through the roof and that really impacts on lactation. So those are the groups of babies that are most likely to need donor milk. I think a lot of people are not aware of the fact that premature children need mother's milk and however that sometimes they can't get it for a variety of reasons. Having gone through the experience twice, um, for me personally I think it's a, it's a great initiative and it's actually somewhat striking that something like this didn't already exist. We've got some one-off costs in terms of equipment that we'll need. So any money raised from this, from this film um, will initially go towards buying that really um, vital equipment. The pasteuriser that we need uh, to process human milk is an expensive piece of equipment and we need at least two of them to create as efficient a service as possible. Those machines will be running five days a week, maybe even six or seven days a week at times to ensure that every baby who will benefit can access donor milk. I am really glad that we had the opportunity to receive donor milk because today this little chap is sitting on my lap and he completes our family. He went through a difficult time at the beginning of his life, but thanks to donor milk, he made it through. <laughs>